TV9 viewers have been reaching out to us for months asking us to look into a dangerous traffic situation. It's in the area of the College Community School District in Cedar Rapids. Now, these are some of the streets viewers raised questions about. They say they've seen a lot of crashes in this area in the last few years. KCRG TV9's chief investigative reporter Josh Scheinblum has looked into those claims, and he's live tonight near the college community schools. And Josh, the city does have a, a plan to fix this. That's correct, Bruce. It involves putting in place a roundabout. And if you have ever come out here during the morning, you know just how severe that congestion can be. Now, roundabouts have become a popular solution across eastern Iowa from Marion to Mount Vernon as a way of alleviating some traffic problems. We look to see if the data would back up putting one here. Trucks, cars, and buses cram single file like livestock. This is every morning along Kirkwood Boulevard in front of college community schools. I was almost in an accident at this intersection on a wintry day, probably two years ago. What may be even more nerve wracking than driving is standing in the middle of it all. I take care of itself here. Cedar Rapids police officer Glenn Keeler is a familiar face for parents and students. He's directed traffic at drop off time for four years. When there's an accident, he's often the first one on scene. With this volume of traffic, you're, you're going to have accidents. It's usually property damage. Officer Keeler has been busy as of late. An I-9 records request with the state's Department of Transportation has uncovered. In the last seven months, there have been 21 crashes on the roads around the school district, which resulted in at least four injuries. One accident back in February even involved a school bus. We want to make sure we get the, the crashes down. John Witt is the assistant traffic engineering manager with the city of Cedar Rapids. He says a $1.3 million roundabout should help it would go right where Officer Keeler currently stands. Roundabouts have less conflict points, which the conflict points are where vehicles and pedestrians interact. Uh, a traditional intersection has 32 conflict points and a roundabout has eight. Um, so just by the nature of having less conflict points, it leads to uh, less crashes. Bus driver Kathy Alberts doesn't share Witt's optimism. This traffic here is, is nonstop every morning. City officials tell me that they did consider putting a traffic light in this area, but the reason they opted against it, that's because most of the time, traffic is sparse at best. Mount Vernon installed a roundabout on Highway 30 in 2013. Statistics compiled there over the past six years show crashes have dropped by more than 50% since the roundabout went in. There are differences, however, between what's in Mount Vernon and the project near the College Community School District. For one, on Highway 30, there was no one directing traffic, only stop signs. And where Officer Keeler stands, he reports no accidents have occurred under his watch. Still, he and city traffic officials are confident a roundabout will make a difference. They did a lot of studies and I have to trust their judgment. Having a police officer stationed here costs taxpayers around $24,000 every year. And city officials say they hope to have the roundabout installed and ready to go in time for next school year. For now, we're live in Cedar Rapids, Josh Scheinblum, KCRG, TV9 News.